Hey everyone, Trickshot here, and I know it's been uh, it's been a while. We haven't we haven't really talked face to face like this, especially with my microphone on. I'm I'm not really gonna go back to how I used to do videos because one, it was just really tiring and it, I didn't really like doing them. So I'm gonna start doing these videos of not really just me giving you an FLP and say enjoy, but instead me explaining and actually teaching you how to do something with that out of the way let's just get right into the video so i got this acapella that i got from the elation sample pack and i pretty much built off of it it's a melodic dubstep melodic future based type vibes it's really a lenium in a nutshell but it's it's has my own twist on it so just a quick disclaimer this isn't for um commercial purposes this is just for educational we are going to release this separately. I'm just releasing it as kind of a layout, an educational FLP, because I've been gone for so long, and I think you guys need more than just a separate video or something. I don't know. Cause I know what and this is the other side a cappella, and it's in the key of D sharp major, I think. I'll be honest, I still don't know. I can't. I can't. You know, get my finger on it. And so originally I was just going to throw a MIDI on this and see what I can do. But it did come with this chord uh, vocal that just has the chord progression. Now the only chord I didn't like in this was this second one. And I decided to change that up and change it into a D sharp major. And I did the same exact thing, except with a lot of the highs, high notes and a lot of the bass notes and root notes with the guitar. I just had the simple chords and the arp thing again. It reminds me of the Melodic Future based um, tutorial that I did a, a while back that it got a few views, you know. It's really simple. It's a really simple track. You don't need layers on top of layers to make an efficient track. And that's what I kind of showed off here. Right here, I just have a simple pluck. And I have a re-space. That, that's, that is pretty much all for actual instrumental and synth per, uh, elements to this song. And it's the same exact thing in the build up. And with the drop, this is when stuff actually starts to get spicy meatball. I have a vocal chop that came with the acapella pack. That sounds really nice. It really isn't anything special. So the lead is just a really simple following of the chord progression, kind of. Now you notice how there's not much movement, but that's because I wanted to pitch bend it a little bit. And I had a lot of automations down here at the bottom, which controls it. And it kind of sounds out of tune and out of key a little bit. It's nice. And that's pretty much it for this project file. File, And that's pretty much it for this project file. There's not much else to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play it and let you guys enjoy it. So we're going to start playing in 3, 2, 